All right, we're back. Not sure what I'm trying to survive at this point. Am I surviving the pandemic of COVID-19 or the, or am I surviving the, pre, the peaceful protests of 2020? Holy shit. Man. <laughs> I heard a term on the internet called accelerationism, and I don't know if that's what we're experiencing right now, but my God. <sighs> All right, what are we doing today, kids? Since there's no protesters in my neighborhood or rioters, uh, kind of put some, kind of hard to see. I want to water them in here. Here's one you can see. Put six of these in. Oh, there he is. Six stepping stones. And they're loose. You got to water them in. It takes a while, and sometimes you got to reset them. But basically, these are just recycled steps like these over here that were just, you know, it was my grandfather. He, he just dug holes in the ground through concrete. Trawled them smooth, called it good. Well, I dug them out and saved them, and I'm putting them back in. But, uh, yeah, let's get a hose. Let's figure this out. Oh, we did a little garden update, too. So, some of these beds, this bed still got a little, have a little work to do. That's life. But, uh, I'm trying to think, the last garden update, none of this was done over here. So, let's go check this out. So, this bed's done. Looking good, looking good. Those are not looking good. Those are looking sad. This bed's done. Yeah, whatever. Oh, man. I'm not even sure if I should even talk about what's going on in the world, but I feel like I should, so I'm going to. I'm going to talk about things I've learned in the last couple of days. And you could take this with a grain of salt. This is what I've learned. I've learned... That using a bow and arrow is not an effective means of protecting yourself. Saw the video of that dude. Jesus Christ. The fuck was he thinking? He was gonna. T I saw a video of a dude who was gonna take on the mob with a bow and arrow. Like he's the dude from fucking Walking Dead. It's like, dude, you're not living in a movie. You're living in the reality. You're gonna get one shot with a fucking arrow? A dude with an arrow sticking out his chest will still fucking pummel you. That's the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. Don't shoot arrows at people, kids. The other one I learned is you don't use a sword. I saw that video too. A dude fucking came at the crowd with a goddamn sword. The craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. And they fucking thumped his ass. They beat his fucking ass with skateboards and fucking apparently rocks and kicked him in the head. He was rumored dead for a while on the internet. I think he survived, but Jesus fucking Christ. That's another one. You watch too much Walking Dead, bro. You are not the fucking lady from The Walking Dead with a sword. You're not going to take a crowd of fucking angry mob on with a fucking sword. That's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I mean, mind-boggling stupid. <sighs> Whatever. What else have I learned? I've learned that a pump shotgun is a fucking good deterrent to looters. Saw a video of that. Dude shop was getting fucking looted. He rolled the fuck up in his, uh, it looked like a Dodge Durango. Hopped the curb, jumped out of the driver's seat, jumped in the back seat, grabbed a shotgun, pumped one shot off in the air, and maybe the other one in the air? I don't know, I couldn't really tell, but those fucking uh, peaceful protesters, they, uh, they skedaddled pretty fucking quick. I don't recommend that, but of the three, the, uh, the sword, the bow and arrow, and the shotgun, well, I think we know which one works the best now, kids. See in the video. All right. I don't re recommend any of them, actually. Don't do not do violence, kids. But my God. What else have I seen? Uh, dude looting a fucking FedEx truck? Well, that's just a bad idea. You shouldn't steal. Nothing good's going to happen to people who steal. Well, if you remember, the L.A. riots back in the 90s, they pulled a dude out of the truck and beat his head with a fucking stone. I don't think they killed the guy. Damn near killed him. But if you drive a truck for a living, I guarantee you remember that shit. So do you know what you do when people start beating on your truck? You don't get out and ask them how they're doing. You fucking leave. That's what this dude did. He drugged this guy? My God, terrible. It's like, what? I mean, you think good things are going to happen? <laughs> like, how did this happen? I mean, it just, it just blows my mind. How, how am I being drugged? It's like, uh, I don't know, maybe you're looting a fucking... I mean, whatever. Whatever. Peaceful protests. You know, accidents happen. Uh, what else have I learned? Well, if you remember, there was a, an incident a couple years ago where a dude drove his car through a crowd and a lady had a heart attack and died, and then they he's in jail for the rest of his life. Well, I, I watched cops, cops last night 
driving into crowds of people with their fucking cars. Like, are those cops going to jail for fucking... I mean, maybe no one had a heart attack and died, so it's not as bad. I, I don't even fucking know. All I know is... My... Protester deterrent is fucking... Currently within arm's reach. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. And if you don't got a protester deterrent, you fucking better start thinking about what you're doing with your life, because... The shit is getting so fucking out of hand. I just... It's crazy. It's the craziest shit ever. I mean, I wouldn't want to hurt anybody ever for anything, but it's like... At some point, people are going to have to make some decisions about how it's going to go. Is it going to go... Is it going to be... And this is all Minecraft, obviously. Not in real life. This is Minecraft. Uh, is it going to be me, or is it going to be the guy who's trying to prevent me from being me? You know, that's an easy choice, but I don't want to have to make it. But my God. My God. So anyways, I'm just going to work on my garden, you know. Focus on the things that count in life. There's water in these steps. That mud will soak in. Hopefully stop the rocking. Every once in a while you got to reset one. That's alright. I don't mind. All part of the fun. Or you get a loose one, you got to just have a loose stepping stone. So, whatever. I mean... I don't know. I'm not sure whose lives actually matter. Do certain people's lives matter more than others? I That's not how I was raised. I was raised content of character. Everyone's equal. But apparently they don't count no more. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'm so glad that... I'm so glad I live in a shithole town where there's nothing going on. There's no fun. No one would want to live here. Hopefully it stays that way. I mean, whatever. I'm just so... I'm just, the thing that's got me worried is what's next? I mean, because I've been saying that for a while. What's next? Well, I mean, what's next? Like, literally, what's going to be next? It's, it's What's probably going to end up happening, and this is my prediction, and it's just an idea, is they're going to have to start having some more... What would you call it? Military presence, also known as martial law. And that's going to solve it. So it's like, well, there you go. Now we've solved it all, right? It was so bad before, now we got the fucking military solving fucking problems. Well, sometimes the military doesn't solve problems the way that you want your problems solved. But, looks like that ship sailed, so congratulations to all the fucking people that are solving problems in the world. You just fucking... <laughs> Whatever, dude. What's the other one? Is, is COVID-19 over? Like, I, I was trying to figure that one out. Are we done with that? Is that, is that, is that, uh, is that, is that ended? Am I back to regular scheduled programming? Oh my god, I don't even want this to turn into a rant channel, but I feel like it is. Like, how do you, how do you not? And hopefully watching me water my stones is exactly what you needed today. My steps. Get the plant some water too, why not? Good old fashioned rainwater. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> What's crazy is I got family living in some of these towns, in these areas, and it's like, oh man, whatever. I'm sure it's all going to work out. Any, one of these days now, it's all going to be better, right? It's all going to be good. Nothing to worry about. What a bunch of bullshit. We just have a little silence here while you contemplate the fucking state of the world. Enjoying this, the pitter-patter of the rain. Coming from my garden hose. Recycled rain. I'll probably make this illegal soon, too. You can't reuse concrete. You gotta use fresh concrete. I mean, I don't even know. Whatever. Shit's fucking madness. Alright. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. Do I have any advice for you? Here's the best piece of advice I have for you. Fucking avoid that shit. 
Stay the fuck out of it. That'd be the best piece of advice I could give you. No matter if you're for it or against it. Uh, do like Ben Franklin said. Mind your fucking business. That'd be the best piece of advice I could give anybody. Mind your business. <laughs>